Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Do looks matter to women? No, I'm always in time. Let's get it. Do you think girls care for looks? No. No, I don't. How often do you see a really good looking girl, a very attractive girl, with a hideous looking dude? It's not that uncommon. You see it quite a bit. It's a lot more common than a really good looking guy with a really ugly girl. You don't see that very much. Every once in a while, you'll get like a big gym bro style guy who's actually really good looking and he's dating like a gym bro girl and they almost look like a dude. But that's just like what they're attracted to. Like they're really into the gym. So they want a girl that's really into the gym and she looks like a dude. And that's a whole nother story. But I think a lot of really attractive girls will go for guys that don't look that good because of an insecurity thing. I've literally heard it from these girls myself. They literally admit to like not wanting to go for a guy that's really, really good looking because it's like a threat to them. These girls have to worry a lot less about being cheated on or replaced by an even hotter girl if the guy they're with is really good looking and is a total stud. If the dude is low key like mediocre and he makes them really happy and he's funny, whatever, but he's like mediocre looking, for some strange reason, they think that they're less replaceable. All right, so um, there's some truth said to, said in there. I think what he said about women not wanting their partner ideally to be better looking than them is true. Now, the truth is, it all matters. So the question is, do looks matter to women? Well, the truth is, it all matters. It all matters. Everything matters. Looks, money, status, game, it all matters. The question isn't, do looks matter to women? The question is, how much do looks matter to women? As long as you meet a woman's basic requirements when it comes to what she looks for when it comes to physical attraction, then the rest can all be worked on with status. The rest can all be worked on with um, your um, money. Yes, money matters. The rest can all be worked on with your game personality, all that other stuff. But every man has to meet those minimum requirements when it comes to looks for a woman. The good thing is most women don't value looks as much as um, men do. Now, are there women out there who looks are like one of their top priorities? Yeah, they exist. They do exist. But contrary to what a lot of guys who like to complain so that they don't go out here and improve themselves, you know, because they say, oh, they just want the top 10% Chads and Tyrones. They just want guys with like perfect physiques and perfect everything. That's not necessarily true. If you meet those minimum basic requirements and you work on those other areas of your life, a lot of women out here view you as a viable option. Now, the only people that don't like hearing that are men who want to find a reason to not improve themselves in other areas of their life and on this channel you just get blocked we, i don't go back and forth i see one hint of no there's no uh it's it's uh, one hint of hopelessness and not wanting to self-improve you just get blocked man yeah that's a fact let's check out some of these comments see what the people have say first comment here says online yes in person doesn't matter another person here out of the gym bro gym girl situation had to be personal <laughs> yeah the way he said that i was like, chuckling another comment says i'm five four see like this guy I, he's like, oh, I'm 5'4". Does your height matter? Yes, it does. But good thing everything else matters too. Good thing everything else matters too. There are a lot of guys out here who wouldn't be classified as attractive, but because they've worked in other areas of their life, and when I say attractive, I mean physically attractive, but because they've worked in other areas of their life, then women view them as viable options. Women have a longer list of attraction triggers than men do. Here's another comment from another person that says, having a good personality and having good hygiene and style, all you need. Another comment here says, I've seen girls go crazy for the funny, goofy guy. Looks don't always matter. Yeah, funny is good, but guys, going going the goofy route with women, being viewed as a, as, as a jokester, usually won't get you the type of position and respect that you want to build with a woman, right? That, 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 that goofy approach to dating, a lot of those guys don't get taken seriously and they don't get laid. Here's another comment that says, nah, looks matter. Another comment here says, so you're saying there's a chance. And I know there's gonna be some guys who say, so you're saying that you can't laugh her panties off? Yes, there are guys who can laugh her panties off, but the more successful guys are the guys who are able to maintain masculine frame. Those guys, the quiet um, frame masculine type, they smash the most chicks on the low. Now, I'm not saying everybody's goal should be to smash the most chicks. In fact, I don't think you should do that. But that more stoic masculine man attracts the most women. It definitely gets them 
the most sexually attracted, even if your goal is to attract one woman into a relationship. Listen, as always, I'm curious to know, what do you think? Leave your comments down below. I appreciate you for checking out yet another episode of The Coffee Pot. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.